It's time for the Woodmore News with your hosts, Maggie Flanagan, Lily Maslar, Anna Wakefield, Brahma Davis, and Keller Riley. Let's get to the news. Hi, I am Maggie Flanagan and welcome to the Woodmore News Snow Edition. Here is Lily Maslar. Lily! Thanks Maggie. This is Lily Maslar, your meteorologist, and I'm here to tell you the snow predictions. Right now, it is snowing, and it's just starting to stick onto the ground. But there also might be other sort of snowstorms this year. There might be one on Friday or Saturday, and maybe on President's Day weekend, and also maybe at the beginning of February. We don't know, but just like this, we weren't really knowing when it would, when, when it would start coming down, but it is. Here we are at Pinecrest Park, where, there's, where the snow is just starting to stick. Thick. Hopefully there will be sledding soon down here. There probably will. And um, and some tips for when you're uh, sledding is to always wear a hat and gloves and a coat. And maybe do two layers of your coat just in case it gets too hot and you want to take it off. For tips for making a snowman is that if you make a great snowman, you can send it to us and we'll and we'll do a snowman competition. Back to you, Maggie. Wow, it must be cold out there, Lily. Now, here is Anna Wakefield with some snow tips to how to make it snow. Anna. Thanks, Maggie. Today, I'm Anna Wakefield. I'm, today, I'm going to show you some tips how to make it snow faster. Let's go. First, you'll want to get a pepper and salt shaker and put it on the windowsill. Second, you'll want to put two or three ice cubes in a toilet. The third thing you'll want to do is put a wooden spoon under your, win under your pillow. The very last thing you'll want to do, it's really important, is put on your pajamas inside out. Here's a demonstration. The last thing you want to do is do your snow dance. Thanks, Maddie. Back to you. I am definitely going to put a spoon under my pillow tonight. Are you looking for a puppy? Someone in the neighborhood rescues them. Now here's Bromley with more information. Bromley. I'm Bromley Davis here with... Gabriella Hubbard. And I'm going to interview her about her puppy. So, how did you start? Well, I adopted two dogs out of rescue, and then I started getting emails from that rescue saying that they had puppies coming in and they desperately needed fosters. They had 35 puppies arriving one weekend. So, I figured, well, I've already adopted two. How hard could it be? And I took a litter and haven't stopped since. Have you kept any? It's interesting, I get asked that question a lot, and people say, oh, I could never give away the puppy. Um, you must get so attached, and I don't. Um, there's always another puppy looking for a spot. So when I move a puppy to uh, a wonderful family or a whole litter, then my house becomes available for another dog to get out of a shelter. How long do the puppies stay here before they can? Until they get placed. So once they get to my house, they're safe, and I will keep them for as long as they need to stay here. Um, I have held on to puppies a little bit longer when they've had some emotional problems and we need to work through them so that they're going to be placed in a safe environment and they're going to act appropriately. But most puppies move pretty quick. I, can't, I had five yesterday, today I have three. Um, but I also market my puppies. I put them on Facebook, I put them on the neighborhood listserv. I've got puppies through the entire neighborhood, all over Woodmore. Shout out to my Woodmore neighbors who've adopted my puppies. Thank you. Um, and. Uh, you know, I work hard to make sure that they get into homes and that they don't stay here for a long time. So this is Fender. He is available for adoption right now. He's 10 weeks old. He is the liveliest of the bunch and he looks like he could be trouble, but he's very, very sweet. Um, he's listed as a shepherd mix, probably a little bit of a blockhead in there. Um, he's a good guy, up to date on shots and definitely looking for a new home. He looks like he might have a little bit of Catahoula leopard dog in him. All the dogs we pull are from the south, so oftentimes you will see southern breeds, um, hunting dogs, 
coon hounds, treeing walker coon hounds. Um, he's a good guy. He's a little bit more chilled out than his brother. Also looking for a home. So our last little princess is Fatima, and she's a special doggy because she's deaf. Um, I read on the internet that oftentimes, not often, but when deafness is congenital, oftentimes it's a white dog, particularly with a white head. The pigment or lack of in the ears has something to do with the nerve generation of the hearing cells, so we're looking for an extra special adopter for her, someone who's going to be very committed to training, which can be done with hand signals, and obviously safety conscious because she can't hear cars and she can't go off a leash. So if you know anyone um, or might be interested in her, she will be a special girl. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Maggie. Wow, that pu white puppy was sure was cute. Now here is Keller Riley with some nutrition tips. Keller! Thanks, Maggie. I'm Keller Riley. The new year is a time to make New Year's re resolutions and try to stay healthy. Well, I'm going to interview Jen Riley for more information about that. So, what are some healthy foods that people should be eating in 2016? Well, one thing that people should be eating more of is veggies, and veggies of every color. Uh, for example, orange and green veggies are some of the best. They give you lots of energy, they have lots of immune-boosting nutrients so that you don't get sick, and they just be, keep you feeling great. So, what are chia seeds exactly? So, chia seeds are a fantastic little seed. They're really tiny. Um, back in the 80s, we turned them into chia pets, but now, in 2016, we're realizing that they're super healthy for you. They help your heart, they help your energy level, and they're really filling, so you're not hungry all the time. Um, and you can, you can put them in anything. You can put them in your pancakes, you can put them in your oatmeal, your yogurt, your smoothies. Uh, they're really good for you, and they have no flavor, so we eat them all the time in our house. What are some things exercise-wise that people should be doing to lose weight? Uh, when it comes to exercise, the best thing is just to move your body. Try to move your body at least 30 minutes every day where you're really getting your heart rate up and, and having fun. So what kind of job do you do? I'm a dietitian, and I help people to eat healthier and feel better. Back to you, Maggie. Wow, those chia seeds are sure yummy. That's all we got. I'm Maggie Flanagan with the Woodmore News.